All right, everybody, so here I am. I'm uh, just getting set up to do a bunch of red lines and draw this all out. I got to identify cables. I got to pick what size of cables I need to use for my power for this VFD. Um, I got to figure out how many control, how many control wires I need from the PLC that's in the Vistac building. That's the one outside. Um, the DCS right behind me here. We already have wiring that comes from here all the way out to the field. And uh, I gotta pick some wires from there, which ones to use. So to get all this to work the way the customer wants, we really gotta sit down, uh, think about things, figure out all the control wiring, power wiring, and make sure it works according to how they need. So I can just show you here. set up. I've already started doing some drawings here. So this, uh, this section right here is for Distac PLC. So this building already came with a PLC in it and its own control. So we got to tie into that. Here I've started some DCS uh, wiring red lines. So those, uh, those drawings are going to be in that uh, cabinet right there. So like I said, that's the brains of the operation. This sends signals over to the PLC, and I haven't quite started, but uh, I'm gonna work on the VFD control wiring. So I got some prints here to work from, and uh, this just shows me everything that's going on in the VFD, how to start, stop it, shut it down in an emergency situation. So I gotta tie this all into my wiring from the PLC and the DCS here. So if you guys aren't an electrician, I'm sure you're having a hard time understanding what I'm up to, but uh, this is what you can get into. So just like any job, a lot of pre-planning needs to happen. Plus, sometimes there's no engineering, nothing's uh, drawn out all the time. So as an electrician, if the customer trusts you, and they're willing to pay you to draw things out, uh, you can definitely find a niche in that, which uh, the customer I'm working for now, they have me draw all kinds of stuff and I pretty much get it approved by an engineer and signed off afterwards. So it's pretty cool that way, because I get to hang out here and uh, do some wiring. So here's some prints. I gotta dissect, uh, these are the inputs and outputs. These uh, specifically are uh, discrete outputs here from the DCS there. So what I just showed you on the prints will be uh, discrete output. Here's uh, digital inputs, here's uh, some digital outputs. So this thing sends commands out to the, to the VFD and the PLC out in the field. Yeah, I don't know what else I can tell you guys in this episode. I got a lot of planning to do and uh, preparation. So I'm gonna work on my drawings, which I have right here. I got a material list I gotta build. So I got lots of work and order everything. So that should be fun. It's just another day as an electrician. I really hope you guys enjoy this uh, video series. I think it's going to be quite a few videos because I got a lot of work to do. So each step that I'm doing is pretty much a day in the life of an electrician. So an industrial one, that's for sure. Not every type of electrician works on red lines. They don't have a bunch of control wiring. Like in a house, there's not much control wire. So it's totally different from residential, commercial electricians. They might deal with some of this stuff maybe not uh, as in depth, but an industrial electrician working on a facility, you definitely have a lot of control wiring. So yeah, thanks again for watching everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and continue with uh, my work here. And if you need any more information on how to become an electrician, electrical theory, tools, or safety, you can head on over to my website, which I'll post a link in the description below. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe really trying to work hard to grow this channel and you guys are the ones helping me with that so I really want to work with you provide you with good videos 
and give you all the electrician information you need. So thanks everyone, have a good day.